Hey, what up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Donkey Kong Country X Mario Edition. We are in our new area. Interesting music for this place. I kind of thought they would have, like, used the underground theme. But, I'm not complaining. So, I hope you guys are having a great weekend so far. I got my Yoshi. Yoshi so much. <laughs> I forgot how fast Yoshi was. <gasps> oh, no! Yoshi's really fast. All right, take two. Let's try again. Get my way. Give me my bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. So back when I was a kid, I used to watch a lot of Barney. And like, you know, Dora the Explorer and all that stuff. You know how kids usually like to watch that stuff. Blue Scoos and Oswald. Do you guys remember Oswald? Oswald was a really fun show to watch. I think my favorite character was probably like... I'm probably gonna get a lot of people saying different things, but I'm gonna say the penguin was one of my favorites. I forget his name, but he was a funny character. Anyway, I was going somewhere with the story. Um, fuck. I used to watch a lot of Barney as a kid growing up. And I remember specifically one of the songs was that I like to eat apples and bananas song by Baby Bob. It was, it was, a, it was an okay song, you know. Can I even get these bananas? I can, not, so I don't need Yoshi. What amazes me is Yoshi can jump higher than Mario in this game. Can Yoshi actually jump higher than Mario in New Super Mario World 2? I don't remember. All I know is that Yoshi was a little bit faster than Mario. But I don't remember if... Yoshi could jump higher than Mario. Because Mario's known for his jump. So, if Yoshi could jump higher than Mario, and Mario was also known as Jumpman, does that mean Mario is not actually, like, the best jumper in the game? Because Luigi can also jump a little bit higher than Mario, too, right? I'm like loading my head in with so much information right now. It's a lot. <laughs> you ever get like in those situations like where you're just like thinking of one thing and then you're like, well wait, this could also be this. And it's like, I don't know what I, I don't know what to think anymore. Also, the other thing is, is Luigi really Mario's brother? Because if so, then what is Wario? Because Wario is the opposite of Mario. But, what if it was just like a convenient thing? Like, Mario and Wario, like, it was just convenient enough that both of their parents had them as Ario, but Mario's mom, you know, gave him the M and Wario gave him the W. Which I don't know why he has a W, because he loses all the time, so he should really have an L. Ha 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 ha. Sorry, that was a bad joke. Bad joke. But, yeah. That's my, uh... That's my take on all this. <laughs> that's actually might be the first time I've ever completed that area without, like, dying. I'm usually bad at rail cart. I'm, like, usually really bad at it. So the fact that I actually did it, I'm proud. Can I use this tire for anything? Like, I didn't really gain anything from that. Alright. I'm not... I don't remember what this tire is used for. Is it not used for that, is it? I don't really know. Uh, these fireballs are so helpful. <laughs> I'm gonna break. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get that item block open. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe I'm not. Anyway. Also, where did the where did Nintendo come up with like Mario and Wario? And were they meant to be like rivals with each other? Because of Bowser is Mario's rival. But also, there's beef with Wario, too. Where do they get this logic? I'm just like rambling on about really nothing. <laughs> it's what I do. If you try to ask somebody what I'm talking about, don't expect an answer because you're probably not going to get one that you hope for. There's also a video I watched on YouTube about this game the other day. And this one dude was like shooting fireballs like rapidly. 
I don't know how that's even possible. I tried to shoot fireballs randomly before, and it was just like, it didn't work. Is Yoshi gonna disappear? I don't want to lose my Yoshi. I don't want to lose my Yosh Yosh. I lost my Fi Fire. Fi Fire? Starfire. Teen Titans. Speaking of Teen Titans, have you guys ever seen Teen Titan Go versus Teen Titans? That movie came out in like 2019, I think, but that movie was still a great movie. I think the whole plot of the movie was just kind of weird. Because they did their best to make Teen Titans, like the old school Teen Titans, look really good. Teen Titans just looks too high def, and I see what they were trying to do, but I think they could have made it to where it still had like the older look. Granted, I do appreciate how they like try to go about it to make it almost basically the same. Ah, I'm not good at that. Okay. And while I do appreciate the fact that they try to make that happen, I think they could have made it look somewhat like the older style of it. I'm, I'm like one of the people that's like, I'm not really good with adapting to change very well. And though I love the I, like the concept that they try to do of like, hey, let's bring back Teen Titans for the older viewers, because you know, the te Teen Titans go versus the Teen Titans go is not doing too well. We should make a movie out of it, Teen Titans versus Teen Titans Go. I see what they're trying to do. And also, it's weird that Teen Titans Go apparently had better ratings than Teen Titans, which I don't know how that could be possible. But it turns out in the rap that they did in the movie, it says that the Go rating had like really good ones. And I was curious as to how that could be even remotely possible, considering that Teen Titans Go was like absolutely horrible. The design was horrible. They made them like three heads tall. And I don't know. I just, I could not get into Teen Titans Go. I watched one episode and I know what y'all are gonna say after I say this statement. It was too goofy for me. I know what a lot of y'all are gonna say. But Trevin. Teen Titans was also goofy. Yes, it was. I agree. It was. Teen Titans was definitely goofy. But I think what Teen Titans did right was while they did try to make it a little bit goofy, they also added in some like actual conflict like conflicting moments that like make you want to like have you on the edge of your seat. Teen Titans Go really didn't perform that that well and that's kind of why I don't think it performed very well. I think Teen Titans Go could have had a lot better to offer if they would have made the conflict between the enemies and them like a little more serious, but I guess I'm not really one to judge. Right, we're gonna save real quick, just so I can say that we did. 16% of the game done, let's go. <laughs> Out of 101. Does that mean we're 85% short? Isn't this a Koopa track from Paper Mario? Which is another game I've never played. Oh, I was hoping that we would have gotten that barrel back. Yeah, so I'm not gonna say- So, what I thought was cool about Teen Titans Go was they made it to where they were able to bring back the old cast. This music actually fits with this part, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, there's not many shows to where they could say they could bring back- Like, successfully bring back the older- voice actors, and you know what, I'm gonna give Teen Titans Go a props for that. Because I guarantee without the original voice actors, it just would have been a lot worse. Because it's like Bleach, when they brought Bleach back, they- oh shit, they changed a lot of the voices. Like, they changed Yodoichi's voice, they changed Renji's voice, they changed... Who's other voice that they changed? Chad's? They changed a good amount of voices, so I think if the- if, I think if Teen Titans Go would have changed any of the original voice actors... I feel like it would just... Be a lot worse. So... I... I don't really know. I'm curious to know what your guys' take on that situation might have been. Look at that fire flower. Also, the new season of Bleach is gonna be coming out on October 
and I love Bleach. I know I don't really talk about it too, too much, like, because I don't really, like, talk about anime, because I don't really watch anime all that much, besides, like, Dragon Ball Z and Bleach and stuff. But, let me tell you, I am so hyped for the new season of Bleach to come out. Like, I don't think we've waited too long for the new Bleach. I think the, I think the deal is, like, I feel like that they were just, like, trying super hard to make sure that we weren't gonna get something that was terrible. And I respect them for that. So I can't say that what they're doing by, like, making us wait a little bit is wrong, because it's really not. What is wrong, though, is Grand Theft Auto 5. A lot of us have been expecting Grand Theft Auto 5, or 6, is what I meant. We've been expecting Grand Theft Auto 6 for a long time, and we did not get Grand Theft Auto 6. And... When they released the trailer, it was cool. Oh, this guy's faster. Hearing the trailer for Grand Theft Auto 6 was pretty cool. The problem that I have with that is we're not getting it until 2025, and now they're trying to say they're going to push it back to 2026? Um, no, I don't want to wait that long. <laughs> I want GTA 6, like, right now. <laughs> And we got our second golden banana. We are going to be going to world three next. Oh, poor ostrich. This ostrich has been through a lot with this battle. Mario can defeat anybody. All right, guys. That's where I'm going to end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And as always, I've been Chevin F. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye, guys.